what began as a simple cartoon about an American family, exploded into a pop culture juggernaut. The Simpsons has been on air since the late 80s, and the show's instantly recognizable style and expansive universe have allowed it to gain global popularity. Over the years, people have noticed that several storylines from the show seem to have come true in real life. Some famous predictions include Donald Trump becoming president, the Capitol riots, and even a deadly pandemic. Were these actually predictions? Social media users and even some news websites have claimed that the show has predicted certain events. We spoke to Bill Oakley, one of the writers and showrunners of The Simpsons, and Tom Wyman, a writer and philosopher who is now writing about the show. This episode, which aired 16 years ago, shows Lisa becoming the President of the United States. President Lisa tells her administration that they need to rescue the economy after former President Donald Trump tanked it. The episode was directed by Michael Markentel and written by Dan Greeny. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke! And the most famous one is Donald Trump being president. You know, and that was, and the thing about that is society, it gets stupider and stupider. And the comedy writer is able, some comedy writers, most notably in this case, Dan Greeny, who has said, Dan Greeny who wrote that, said, Donald Trump being president, well, that was a logical last step before hitting rock bottom. <laughs> and th that's exactly right. Like, the thing about it is a lot of things in The Simpsons, the people of Spring Springfield, for the most part, are really stupid. And the jokes are, this is how stupid people behave in individually and in groups. And unfortunately, society is tending to bend towards the regular society, American society, uh, at least as far as I can observe it, has become a lot more like the citizenry of Springfield over time. Like the thing about the Donald Trump prediction on The Simpsons is that, you know, he had already sort of indicated he was interested in running for president. So as a kind of joke sort of person for Lisa to be succeeding as president, it made sense because he might have always tried to become the president. And then, of course, at the time it seemed like, well, that would be ridiculous. He's never going to be the president. But the sort of comic reality, The Simpsons, has its own logic. Written by John Swartzwelder and directed by Wes Archer, this episode revolved around Bart and Lisa meeting the creator of the Itchy and Scratchy show. The episode also showed a violent protest of a number of people charging into a government building. This scene closely resembled the Capitol Hill riots that took place in January 2021. Showrunner Al Jean tweeted about not wanting this prediction to come true. Lots of fans took clippings from the show and compared them to the riots, which had uncanny similarities. One apparent similarity was groundskeeper Willie dressed exactly like Jake Engeli, one of the insurrectionists who stormed the Capitol. During the riot, Engeli was shirtless, wearing a headdress with horns and animal fur. An image circulated on social media showing groundskeeper Willie in the same outfit. However, this scene was never in the episode. We spoke to Lydia Pulteney and James Hicks, authors of The Simpsons Secret, a forthcoming book about the show's uncanny aptitude for predictions. Many of these photoshopped images are very poorly made, such as the groundskeeper Willie Capital storming image. They are amateurish. The animation for The Simpsons has always been high quality, especially the newer seasons, which are in HD. If the image is of low quality, then it's most likely fake. There are also many fact-checking sites out there as well, if you want to be sure. Just do a little research before spreading false information. The photo that was circulated on social media had the Simpsons character dressed in that attire, standing outside Capitol Hill holding the US flag, standing next to the Simpsons family. Like that whole thing about the January 6th insurrection with groundskeeper Willie wearing that, that you know, the fur cap and stuff, that was just made up. That, was, that wasn't even a scene from the show. It was just pasted together from various things. And so people, those things tend to get a lot of traction. And those are just things that are totally fake. They weren't things that were even on the show. They're just kind of internet memes. This episode was written by Bill Oakley and Josh Weinstein and directed by Jim Reardon. The episode is about Marge going to jail for shoplifting and opens with Homer ordering a juice maker from Japan. One of the factory workers in Japan who boxes the juicer is shown to be sick and coughs into the packaging. Once opened in Springfield, the whole town is plagued with a disease they call the Osaka flu. Some memes even edited clips from the episode to make it seem like they were actually talking about COVID-19. But of course, the Osaka flu was not intended to predict COVID. The writers at that time anticipated a flu outbreak as it was a topical event in the 90s. The Osaka flu 
was a complete was obviously a reference to the Hong Kong flu. And this is where things so Hong Kong flu of 1869, which was still people knew it back then. Like, and this is part of the one of the genres of predictions that people think the Simpsons have predicted, but they haven't, which is just we're referring to things in the past that are now so old that people didn't know about them and they thought we made them up. So like, you know, the Hong Kong, flu, there were tons of different pandemics or, or semi pandemics throughout all of history. But one of the most noteworthy, most talked about ones was the Hong Kong flu of 1969, I think it was. Fact, uh, at Six Children's and also my colleague down in Hamilton has isolated the what we call the A2 Hong Kong 68 strain of influenza. I don't know if I would call what The Simpsons does as predicting things. I think it anticipates things. There are hundreds of episodes of The Simpsons. It's either the longest running show on American television or it's very close to being the longest running show on American television. Once you have that much material uh, where you're making jokes about, which are sort of often about current events and things like this, well, well of course, some of the things you say are going to end up uh, they're coming true, and as well as obviously as well as predicting Donald Trump being president, The Simpsons also technically kind of predicted that by about so 2010 there wouldn't be any trees anymore and all the trees would be holograms, and that didn't come true. I, mean, I suppose one line on prediction and, and, and prophecy in general is they're actually always about the present, um, and but if they actually seem to be saying anything about the future, it's just that the future is still meaningfully like the present was when they were writing. I didn't think the show would be on for 30 years. That's the thing, like. That, that's part of what causes this, this syndrome of uh, people thinking that The Simpsons predicted stuff is that the show has been on for so long. Like, I think that the things that are called predictions fall into three categories. One of which, the lowest category is things that weren't even actually on the show, but are things that people cobbled together. Like that whole thing about the January 6th insurrection with groundskeeper Willie wearing that, that you know, the fur cap and stuff. That was just made up. That, was, that wasn't even a scene from the show. It was just pasted together from various things. And so people, those things tend to get a lot of traction. And those are just things that are totally fake. They weren't things that were even on the show. They're just kind of internet memes that are, that someone, and there's been a number of those in the past year. And they always get attention because the article in the newspaper says, did the Simpsons really predict the, <laughs> the January 6th interaction? And the answer is no, but people still click the article and read it. And so like, th that's one thing, which are totally fake fraudulent ones. That's category three. Category two, is what I just covered, which is things that are so old, the history repeats itself. People heard about them for the first times on, on The Simpsons, and now they're happening again. And The Simpsons, and then people erroneously believe that we made them up rather than us referring to historical events. Then there's category one, which is the smallest category and the most interesting, which is things that The Simpsons really did predict. And that's there's probably only about five things in there. And the most famous one is Donald Trump being president. Do not believe everything you read on the internet. Yes, these predictions are fun to read and discuss, but it's knowing when to spot a real or a fake. There are many explanations to how The Simpsons have seemingly predicted so many real-life events. The Simpsons is the longest-running television show in history, with 32 seasons and counting. Many people, including us, have never known a world without The Simpsons. There are so many wonderful and wacky characters in Springfield that fans see a little part of themselves in most of them. It's topical, hilarious, and just a feel-good comfort show for many. The Simpsons is ingrained in pop culture and will be continued to be talked about in another 30 years' time. The show never really intended on predicting anything. They just picked up cues from current and historical events. It is because the show ran for so long that history sometimes repeats itself. Another reason people feel that the show predicts events is because the demographic that seems to think so are the people watching it at this age. The events in the show seem new to them, as they weren't aware, or even born, during that time to realize that most of what is shown has happened before. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Thanks for watching.